Meta has just rolled out a really exciting new feature called AI Studio. Now this is something that has the potential to change the way we interact with AI and create our own personalized AI characters. So as the name suggests, AI Studio is a platform that allows you to create, share, and discover AI characters that you can chat with. And the best part is you don't need any technical skills or programming knowledge to use it. It's designed to be accessible to everyone. Basically, you can create an AI character based on your interests, hobbies, or even your personality. These AIs will be able to be embodied as avatars. You'll be able to make them as NPCs in the different games and experiences that you build and all of the different Horizon worlds. You can make an AI that teaches you how to cook, helps you with your social media captions, generates memes, or really anything you can imagine. The process of creating your AI character is quite straightforward. You can either use one of the provided prompt templates or start from scratch. Once you've decided on the purpose and personality of your AI, you can customize its name, tone, avatar, and even a tagline. Max the sous chef, um, who can help you come up with a recipe and uh, help you come up with ideas. You know, so if you wanna find a way to sneak some broccoli into your kid's dinner. Meta has also provided a step-by-step -step guide with expert tips and best practices to help you bring your AI character to life. Now, one of the really cool things about AI Studio is that you can choose whether you want your AI character to be just for your personal use, or if you want to share it with your friends, followers, or even make it available for anyone to discover and chat with on Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, and the web. Meta has already showcased some interesting AI characters created by others, such as Eat Like You Live There by chef Mark Murphy, which offers personalized tips for embracing local dining customs while traveling or What Lens Bro by photographer and videographer Angel Barkley, which provides tips on finding the perfect lens for your shot. There's also the Flip Positive Affirmation Dog by actor and pet advocate Rocky Kanaka, which gives you positive affirmations tailored to you. But this tool isn't just for regular users. It also has a really interesting feature for creators on Instagram. With AI Studio, creators can set up an AI as an extension of themselves that can quickly answer common DM questions and story replies. This AI can share facts about the creator, link to their favorite brands and past videos, and generally help them reach more fans and respond faster. Creators can actually customize their AI based on their Instagram content, topics to avoid, and links they want it to share. They can also control when the AI auto replies and to whom it responds. And of course, all responses from creator AIs are clearly labeled, so there's full transparency for fans. Some creators like Chris Ashley, Violet Benson, Don Allen, and Kane Calloway have already created their own AIs, and you can check them out by tapping the message button with the sparkles emoji icon on their Instagram profiles. Of course, any new technology comes with concerns about safety and responsible use. Meta has addressed these by implementing policies and protections to ensure AIs are used responsibly, keeping interactions with AIs both fun and helpful. Overall, I think AI Studio is a really exciting development, and it's just the beginning of a world where anyone can harness the creative capabilities of AI. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kinds of AI characters people come up with and how creators will use this feature. Let me know what you think about AI Studio in the comments below, and if you plan on creating your own AI character, I'd love to hear about it. All right, now Meta has also just launched the Segment Anything Model 2, or SAM2 for short, and this is actually exciting news because it's the first unified model that can identify which pixels belong to a target object in an image or video. You see, segmentation, which is the process of identifying which image pixels belong to an object, has a lot of practical applications. It can help with tasks like analyzing scientific imagery or editing photos. Meta's original segment, Anything Model, which was released last year, has already inspired new AI-enabled image editing tools in their apps, like Backdrop and Cutouts on Instagram. It's also been used in various industries, such as marine science for segmenting sonar images and analyzing coral reefs, satellite imagery analysis for disaster relief, and even in the medical field for segmenting cellular images and aiding in detecting skin cancer. What's really amazing is that SAM2 takes this capability a step further by extending it to video. Essentially, it can segment any object in an image or video and consistently follow it across all frames of a video in real time. Now, this might sound simple, but it's actually a really challenging task. In videos, objects can move fast, 
change in appearance, and be concealed by other objects or parts of the scene. Meta had to solve a lot of these challenges to make Sam 2 a reality. Just imagine the possibilities this unlocks. Easier video editing and generation for sure, but also new experiences in mixed reality. You could use SAM2 to track a target object in a video to aid in faster annotation of visual data for training computer vision systems, like the ones used in autonomous vehicles, or you could have creative ways of selecting and interacting with objects in real time or in live videos. One of the really exciting aspects of SAM2 that Mark Zuckerberg highlighted is its potential applications in studying natural habitats and ecosystems. Scientists often use these kinds of models to study things like coral reefs and monitor changes over time. But as Zuckerberg pointed out, being able to do this in video and have it be zero shot and tell it what you want, it's pretty cool. The fact that SAM2 can perform this kind of segmentation for videos is a testament to the rapid advances happening in the AI industry, particularly in terms of processing power. Zuckerberg mentioned that just one year ago, applying image segmentation to video wouldn't have been possible. Now, in keeping with Meta's open science approach, the SAM2 model is being open sourced and you can download it from GitHub. There's also a free demo available for anyone to try out, which is really cool. Zuckerberg shared some insights into the training process for SAM2. He said the model was trained on a massive amount of data, including an annotated database of about 50,000 videos that was created specifically for this purpose. Additionally, it was also trained on a second database with more than 100,000 videos, but that one is not being made public. He didn't go into details, but it's reasonable to assume that those videos are likely to be user-generated content from Facebook and Instagram. In the chat with Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA, Mark Zuckerberg admitted that while Meta is committed to open sourcing much of its AI research, the company still has commercial interests at heart. He said, we're not doing this because we're altruistic people, even though I think that this is going to be helpful for the ecosystem, we're doing it because we think that this is going to make the thing that we're building the best. And that's a fair point, right? At the end of the day, Meta is a business and they want to leverage cutting edge AI technologies like SAM2 to enhance their products and services. But by open sourcing the model and sharing their research, they're also contributing to the broader AI community and enabling others to explore new use cases and applications. Meta has shared their research on SAM2 with the open science approach, which means others can explore new capabilities and use cases for this technology. They're really excited to see what the AI community does with this research, and honestly, so am I. If you're working on something related to this, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.